What time is it? It's science time! In front of me I have 50 feet of beads. We call these inertia beads. These beads are all connected through a string, but what's really interesting is they're all sitting on the table, and they're not moving. But they have inertia, because an object at rest wants to stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. What we're going to do is I'm going to take this little end here with the red beads, and I'm just going to pull it off the table, and I want to see what happens to the rest of the beads. Are you ready? Let's give it a try. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, I need to pick it up so we can do another one. Now we know gravity is pulling down on the cup. I can feel the force of gravity because it's making me hold this cup up. Here's the thing, I'm gonna pull this out and I want you to pay attention to the beads and see if it works. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. That is so awesome. The first bead gets pulled over the ledge. Gravity's pulling down on it. It's connected to the next bead and says to the other bead, you're coming with me, I'm in motion. So they stay connected, they're pulling each other out of this container. But I wonder, it really wasn't shooting out too high out of the top. What if we had a higher drop? What if, instead of this being from about a foot from the cup to the table, what if we went to a park and we held it really high off the ground to see if we could get the beads to shoot out higher. I think we should give that a try, don't you think? Thanks for being part of our crew today and checking out this short clip from DIY Science Time. If you like this clip and you want to see more exciting science, check out the full versions right here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting DIY Science Time.